Hi, it's Jill from the professional services team at firewalls.com, here to show you how to restrict WAN management on your SonicWall. First, let's chat a little bit about what this means and why you would do this. So when I say WAN management, what I mean is the availability to manage or configure your firewall over HTTPS using a browser. And you would do this if you need to access, manage, configure your firewall from a remote location. So let's jump in. In this example, we are going to enable the WAN management over HTTPS. You already know we want you to have the most secure network. So the first step will involve restricting what IP address can actually reach your firewall over HTTPS. This first step involves creating an address object and an access rule. Now, if you have no idea what that means, I recommend you check out my previous videos on creating network objects and firewall policies. So let's get started by creating an object, an address object. So go to the top, select object, then follow that by clicking on address object on the left side. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Right here, you click add. Since we are, um, the idea is to manage the firewall from a secondary location, a remote location. Um, for this example, I'm going to say this is our home office and um, I cannot give you a public IP address um, or our public IP address. So I'm going to make up this for the uh, example for the video. This is coming from the WAN uh, and it's a host IP. There we go. Hit save. I always like to double check, make sure that I entered it correctly. So there it is, home office. It looks good to me. Step two would be to navigate to network interfaces here you're going to find your x1 which is or should be your wan it could be another one to just look for the wan zone edit the interface scroll down to the bottom under general settings here you will find the management and the user login options you want to be sure that https is enabled for both management and user login in this case i had already done it Hit OK. Step three would be to make sure your access rule is there. So we're going to click on policy on the top. On the left side, click on access rules. Here you'll find all of your access rules. Um, to easily find uh, rules depending on zone, I like to use this grid on the top. I'm going to click on it, then select from WAN to WAN. Here now you can see that I only have three access rules. They're all default rules uh, and there's already two for, um, well, three for uh, management. If you hover over them, you can see the uh, IP address. This is my WAN IP and then the service is ping. HTTPS management over 443 and HTTP, I'm sorry, HTTP management over port 80. These are good. However, um, what we want to do is restrict the access to only our home office. We don't want the whole internet to be able to ping us. We don't want the whole internet to be able to log in um, and manage our firewall. So I'm going to click on the editing pencil. And here um, in the middle, you'll find the source. And we're going to change it from any to that address object we created um, previously called home office. And we're going to hit save. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for ping. Good. You see the updates there. And then there's this last rule here for um, port 80. Home office. Now you might think like, okay, I don't really want um, anybody using HTTP. I want to use HTTPS, but you will find that you cannot deny or delete this default rule. 
what happens is that the fire your sonic wall will actually redirect any uh, HTTP traffic to HTTPS uh, and you can verify that that's being done by going back to your network interfaces then go back to your WAN interface edit that and just above management and user login, you will find the add rule to enable redirect from HTTP to HTTPS. You want to make sure that's turned on. Very well. So that's it. Um, you should be able to log in now from your home office, from the IP address 11111 or your public IP address. And you would do that by um, opening a new window on your browser, typing in HTTPS colon for slash for slash and then you enter the win ip for your firewall this will then bring you to the login screen where you can enter your credentials and manage your firewall again to recap the process first you define what ip address can reach your firewall and you do this with an address object then you enable https management on the wind interface uh, commonly x1 and then you verify the access rule is there uh, and that the source is restricted to your WAN IP uh, of the remote location. I hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel so you're notified of future video releases. And come check us out at firewalls.com where you can find our large selection of top rated security brands and learn more about our managed services.